hello everyone welcome back to my channel again um so as i was discussing the proton nmr and its uh, multiplicity or splitting so in my previous video so i will just give a little bit re review here so as we remember so multiplicity or splitting okay So if you remember the rule, rule was n plus 1 rule. So as I was showing, suppose you have a proton that is a proton and it has a 3 bond neighboring. Neighbor means 3 bond. So if you remember, like if you follow this red color 1, 2, 3. So that is a neighbor, okay? So again, if I choose another color from A, like yellow to one, two, three. So this is also the same color, sorry, same proton B, neighbor. And again, uh, if I go this one, two, three so this is also neighbor so b okay so neighbor and neighbor so this a proton has three neighbor so the n plus one rule so three neighbor is n value is three plus one equal to four so a proton or if i say h a will show the multiplicity is 4 and that is called quartet. So how it will show you the peak, uh, peak shape or splitting. So quartet is always like this. This is a quartet. In short, it shows Q. Okay. So similarly, that b proton also will see h a okay and if you think this uh if you think this carbon has other um, thing not like proton other than uh, other than any proton so if if you think that has a one chloro and one bromo so those H, B, all those three are the same, like uh, this proton. So this proton, this proton, this proton, all those three proton are same. And But similarly, they will also see A proton. So how the B proton will be shown? so those all those are b proton okay so uh, suppose if i now for simplicity if i delete those so h h and h so all those are b proton okay so they will see a so if i want to say b proton will see a like one neighbor because three bond away if you count three bond so if you take this proton so one two three okay so three bond away so all those three b proton will see one a proton so that b proton will see one neighbor so one plus one that means n plus one so you will see two that means a doublet And how this peak will show the HB will show as a doublet like this more clearly. Um, so, like you can say, this is a doublet. Okay. So, these were the uh, rule for the splitting pattern. Now, today we will be learning types of signal like in the proton nmr what kind of proton signal you'll see for a given structure 
यू कैन थिंक ऑफ सपोज एक इन स्ट्रक्चर लाइक दिस सपोज दिस इज ए प्रोटोन एंड दिस इज ए मेथल ग्रुप एंड दिस सो फर्स्ट ट्राई टू फाइंड आउट द डिफरेंट टाइप्स ऑफ प्रोटोन फ्रॉम द स्ट्रक्चर ओके सो देर आर टू मिथाइल ग्रुप हेयर बोथ आर द सेम इन्वायरमेंटली ओके बिकॉज बोथ हैव वन प्रोटोन एंड लाइक वन कार्बन हेयर लाइक दिस कार्बन सो यू कैन पुट अ नंबर लाइक दिस दिस इज वन दिस इज वन एंड देन दिस इज ए वन प्रोटोन सो इट इज नंबर टू एंड दिस इज ए सी एच टू दैट मीन्स इफ यू हैव इफ यू डोंट हैव एनीथिंग हेयर सो यू कैन इजिली से So actually, there is a proton two, and there is also proton two. Okay, you can think like this. So now you can say these two proton are the same. So this is number three, and these two proton are the same. This is number four, and this is one proton aldehyde proton. This is number five. So now, uh, if you uh, try to do the assignment, so one. has how many neighbor so this methyl proton so uh, another thing i uh, to show more simply way i can show this methyl in different way then you will understand more uh, accurately so suppose this methyl has three proton and this methyl also has three proton so for this proton like any any proton from the methyl suppose any proton from this methyl if you count like from here 1 2 3 so that proton is a neighbor for this methyl so for this all six proton okay so for this this six three proton and this three proton all of them has the neighbor is this number two proton is a neighbor so num so number one proton one has one neighbor okay so uh, that means n plus 1 rule if you follow 1 plus 1 that means 2 so that methyl all six proton will give you a doublet so for those methyl proton you will see a doublet in your spectra all, all for all those six so in the nmr you might see like if it is zero it is one so you will see a big doublet here and you might say see in the proton nmr doublet six proton so if you see a doublet six proton you can immediately think six proton means there might be two methyl group so that's why six proton okay and doublet means that methyl group has a neighbor one so if you see like this six proton doublet you can immediately think a carbon has two methyl group and a proton neighbor so this is methyl group two methyl and is proton okay so uh in that case uh that proton will split this methyl group as a doublet so i hope i hope you understand this now uh let's see other types of proton in the same structure how they will show up but just keep it in mind if you see six proton doublet that means two methyl and has a neighbor as a one proton okay how about number 2 so that is interesting uh if you clear if you clearly follow that uh number 2 proton it has how many neighbor so definitely since methyl has the neighbor as a 2 number proton 2 so that number proton 2 will also see those methyl as a neighbor so it has total 6 also, also it will show up 
like that number two one two three and also one two three so additional two more proton as a neighbor so two has six plus two total eight neighbor so now if you put the n plus one rule so eight plus one so it will be nine so nine means non it so you will see the uh, that number two proton signal as a non it so one two three four five six seven eight nine so something like this and in the nmr you might see uh, either non it or multiplet and one proton so you can say okay one proton has a non it that means it might have two methyl group as a neighbor and also two hydrogen in other side of the carbon so that's how you need to think so uh, now if you think the proton number three how you can assign like how many pro, uh, neighbor and uh, what is the multiplicity so in the structure so now we can say number three so three has two and one three if three neighbor how so if you follow this so let's say that three proton one two three again one two three and again one two three so these two proton and this one proton total three proton so n plus one so three is neighbor and one is four so number three will show up as a quartet so simply if you remember the quartet is like this so number three will show up as a quartet and number four number four proton that will have how many neighbors since three can see the four as a neighbor so definitely four can see three as a neighbor two and also the number four proton one two three that aldehyde proton also can be seen so that number four also will have two and uh, this two and this one total three neighbors so three plus one equal to four again another quartet okay now uh, number five this is this was the number five originally so this number five proton so that proton since number four can see number five so definitely number five can see four so number five has two neighbor two neighboring proton neighbor proton so in that case so two plus one equal to three so number five will show up as a triplet so triplet is like this so this is a splitting so you can easily write the multiplicity or the types of signal from any structure so let's see more of example to understand the types of signal in a uh, pro in a molecule for a proton nmr so uh, let's see like if we draw simple simply way so how many proton you can find here and what are the multiplicity from here so let's see so this is number one number one number one these are methyl group and there is no proton anymore because three methyl and next bond is there so this is number two because there is a ch2 and this is number three so you have total 
three types of proton one two three so one will give you one doesn't have those methyl doesn't have any neighbor so one will give you a singlet so in short we can show as this s because neighbor number of neighbor neighboring proton for this zero two so two has uh so if you imagine like this so two has one two three so, uh like i can show another color one two three so number two has only one neighbor so one plus one two so it will show you a doublet and number three has since two can see three so three can also see two so number three will have two neighbor so here remember that it will have one neighbor number three will have two neighbors so the rule is two plus one neighbor two plus one so it is three so number three has a triplet that means two neighbor so you can easily think uh how you are uh identifying the types of signal for a molecule uh let's see another molecule and let's try to draw according to the structure uh like how enamel will be looking like so suppose ch like ch3 and this this proton and this and this ch h h in simpler way we can draw the sim same structure like this ch3 like this ch3 same same structure okay uh, let's make both structure is same okay so now if we give a number so these all those three proton are the same so we can say this is a proton these two proton b and all those all those three proton is c okay similarly this is a this is b and this is c three different proton now in the enamel spectra this is zero one two three four five six seven so if you remember my previous video if you watch it watched it then you will understand if you don't please watch that video first then you can understand this video so from that video discussion i remember uh, i told you if you don't have any aromatic peak like any benzene ring if you don't have any benzene ring uh, hydrogen or benzene ring then you will not see any peak around uh, uh around 7 to 6.5 to 7 or like 7 to 8.5 whatever this area is always aromatic okay but we don't have any aromatic signal here so we will not see anything here if you don't have any double bond so you if you don't have any double bond so you will not see any peak around this area okay so forget about like because we don't have any double bond here <clears throat> only we have the aliphatic proton so a proton if you if you see the a proton this uh, this a proton this proton has b as a neighbor there are two neighbor uh, two protons so two plus one triplet so a proton will give you a triplet around zero to one so you will see a triplet like this okay and b proton has similarly three neighbor like a protons so those are a protons and since a proton can see b as a neighbor so definitely b can also see a as a neighbor so it has three neighbor so three plus one so three plus one is four quadrant but remember that b proton is close to 
this B proton is close to this carbonyl group. So it will be a little bit upfill, like 1.8 or 1.9. And it will give you a quartet. So you can draw a quartet like this. Like four peak, okay? Quartet. And the C proton here, if you imagine C proton, the C proton is next to the C proton is a, with the carbon. That carbon is next to oxygen. If you remember my from my previous video, any proton attached to carbon, that carbon is near to any oxygen or nitrogen or halogen, then it will always show up above three to four point five. So any any region between this. And those proton doesn't have any neighboring proton, like three bond away proton. So in that case, you will see a singlet. So you will see a singlet. And how we can write or how NMR in NMR <coughs> people write. So here you can say S three proton, like singlet three proton. And it is a quartet and two proton. This quartet is means it has <clears throat> three neighbor but this see this specific peak is for only two proton and this is this doesn't have any neighbor and this peak this singlet is for a three proton and first this triplet it will be uh, written as t and three proton that means this proton is triplet that means it has a two neighbor and this signal is for three proton okay and if you see the similar kind of structure but little bit different so like if if we draw another structure like this So here you can say this is A, this is again B and again C. So it is clearly totally different than this. You can see that how this methyl group is away with the uh, oxygen. But here that B proton is like CH2. CH2 group is with the oxygen but that methyl is with the carbonyl. So if you now draw the structure, so uh, suppose I'm making the scale a little bit bigger so that you can understand two and three and four. So here A will show, <coughs> A will see b proton as a neighbor and from this zero to one you'll see a triplet because it will see th two neighbor so this is a proton and similarly this b proton it will see a as a neighbor three and it is next to oxygen so definitely that b proton will give you a quartet because it has methyl like three neighbors so three plus one quartet but since that carbon is next to oxygen it will show up in between three to four so you will see a quartet here okay and that c proton is next to carbonyl so it will show up above 1.5 or 1.8 something like this and it doesn't have any neighbor so it will show you a singlet again so it is c it is B and again A will be designated as triplet 3 proton and C will be showing as a singlet 1 proton and B will be showing as a quartet 2 proton. So remember that quartet Three means neighbor. it has and 2 proton means this signal is for 2 proton same as this singlet means it doesn't have any neighbor. And one proton means this signal is for one proton. And same triplet for that means it has two neighbor. 
but this three proton is showing this signal is for th three proton so now i hope you will understand the difference between these two structure okay due to the oxygen position now uh, we will discuss about some aromatic proton okay so any benzene ring so benzene ring has alternative double bond so it has six proton so any aromatic proton always will show up above 6.5 to 8.5 ppm it depends like how you your proton environment in the benzene ring okay now some tricks if so if you see any peak around like this six so if you see any peak uh, like a doublet and another doublet okay two doublet so you can immediately think okay i have two doublet in aromatic region so that means my benzene ring is one four di substituted what i'm saying one four di substituted so you will see this kind of aromatic ring like two proton and one position as suppose here you have a nitro group and here you have a bromine okay so if you put a number like one uh, let's do with other color one what i'm doing sorry okay so this is one this is two this is three this is four this is five and six so that's why i'm saying uh, we are saying one for di substituted benzene so ultimately uh, other protons uh, so here two proton will see three three proton as a neighbor so one pro one as a neighbor so one plus one so two doublet so that number two will give you a doublet and same as three you can see number two as a neighbor so that will also give you one neighbor so one plus one number two so another doublet so this is one doublet another doublet and symmetrically uh, this number two proton at six proton will be the same so that's why one doublet we can say doublet and it is for two proton that is number two and number six two proton and same as number three proton and number five proton they will be the same because of the symmetry and that will give you another doublet so doublet two proton so that's how you can say don't be confused like in aromatic ring how a signal can be for a two proton because if they are symmetric in the structure so both proton can show as a two proton because in one carbon it cannot have two two proton together so if you see any signal like this two proton doublet definitely it is for um two single proton in two different position but due to the symmetry they are equivalent okay but you cannot think opposite way like that cannot be like these two proton for one doublet no these two proton for one doublet no because this nitro group has both side do two proton that's why they are same okay and also that bromo group is one side so that two proton will be the same okay now it it becomes so messy now so in simpler way we can show uh again like if you have similar kind of um environment so in that case you can say this is a benzene ring suppose it is a x group and it is y group to different and there is 
two proton so this is a proton and this is b proton and definitely it will have another proton so due to uh, different thing so you can divide this molecule in the middle like this so that will be a and that will be b so these two proton integrating will give you the two proton but that a will see b that's why it is giving you the splitting doublet same as b proton they are same so those will give you two proton another two proton and that since b will see a so it will give you a doublet so this is aromatic ring and one for dye substitute always has this nice pattern like two doublet simply if you see two doublet you immediately can think okay it it is for the one to one four dye substituted benzene ring that means in the benzene ring one position and four position is substituted with something else there is no proton in the one and fourth position okay now if you have some other position in the benzene ring then how you are going to see as a signal okay so suppose you have benzene uh, another benzene ring so suppose you have a methyl group and here you have a nitro group and this is a proton this is a proton this is a proton and this is a proton okay now um this proton will see this proton so this a proton will see this proton b proton as a neighbor because if you count one two three okay so a proton will give you a doublet so i can show uh, a proton as a doublet okay and that is for one proton that signal and that b proton can see a as well as that c so this b proton will see a as well as c so in that case you can see both um so this a b proton will see both a proton and c proton so that means it has two neighbor so two neighbor means two plus one it will give you a triplet so ha is giving a doublet and hb will give you a triplet so you can draw a triplet here so you can say this is hb so one h doublet and hb is one h for triplet and similarly c will see that c proton will see b proton as well as d proton okay so c will also give you it another triplet so because two neighbors so this is ac and uh, it will give you one proton and triplet and now the d proton will see only c so because one neighbor so it will give you another doublet so just simply a doublet so you can say this is hd one proton and doublet you can see also the one three di substituted um uh pattern so um if you have one three di substituted patterns so that will be more so you can um think of like if if you have one three di substituted suppose this is uh, one and h and this is y three like one two three and this is hydrogen this is hydrogen and this is hydrogen so those will give you more interesting pattern so that number two proton doesn't have direct um neighbor so it will give you a singlet so number two h2 will give you a singlet and uh number four five six so four will have c5 so it should give you a doublet uh 
so this is four and number five will see four and six both so it will give you a triplet and number six will get c as a number five as a neighbor so it will give you a doublet so this is five and this is six yes there is one thing that is called meta coupling so sometimes number six can see also four with very weak coupling so that also can split a little bit and also the four can see two and five can uh, so number six can see four number four can see six and also number four can see number two those are like meta coupling so that is also known as a w coupling so if you think as a w like from this and now from six to four like see one two three four so that is four bond signal coupling so w coupling so in aromatic ring it is possible so they, these are the pattern for the aromatic ring but for in any cases if you see in the aromatic region like seven to eight you'll see a multiplet like big like this and directly it is saying multiplet five proton so it is also a characteristic aromatic ring how so in that case you can easily think okay since it is showing five proton multiplet directly so that means it is mono substituted like one proton is removed and all five other protons are there and all five protons will show up as a together so this is one of the characteristic mono substituted benzene ring proton nmr so now we will see some um, structural difference for aromatic ring so let's see uh, two different um, structure so let's take this example so this is a methyl and this is o and this is o carbonyl ch3 and this is another aromatic ring methyl group and this is directly c double bond o oxygen and ch3 now <clears throat> look in this structure clearly so this methyl group in both aromatic ring are the same so you can say this is a proton this is a proton okay and in this aromatic ring it is one for di substituted so there are two more types of proton here so here also the same so aromatic substitution they will show both similar in the aromatic region so if you if i say seven uh, seven to eight so for this you will see two doublet in the aromatic ring and same case here also if i say eight seven so you will see two doublet so immediately you can say okay both are one for di substituted now for the uh, so you can say this is b proton this is c proton and this is finally d proton and same b c and d so in both structure d proton will be showing differently how let's see so if you remember or also from my previous video or today's video i also mentioned sometimes like if you have any proton next to the carbonyl group that will show up around 2.1 okay sorry 1.9 to 2 uh, uh, one, around 1.9 to 2 so uh, 0 1 is 2 and here again 0 1 2 3 4 so but if any methyl proton next to oxygen that will show up in between 3 to 4 so for this structure you'll see a singlet in between three to four but for the first structure you'll see d proton near to the 1.8 as a singlet so only these proton will be a signature peak for this singlet peak for these two structure to identify other than this like because 
both has a a proton like methyl so it will show up in the same region and both will show as a two doublet in the aromatic region only one is like both are aster but the oxygen position is different one oxy one in one structure oxygen is directly attached to this carbon in the aromatic ring in another structure oxygen is away from like first carbonyl attached then oxygen to both aster so but you you need to think the d proton signal where it is coming and then based on that you can decide okay this is the structure this is the correct structure so i hope you understand all this uh difference now um let's talk about little bit different things if you see anywhere in the proton enamor like written exchange or exchangeable proton and also in ir you see like broad uh signal or i from the ir you get the idea about the oh peak hydroxyl group or alcohol peak so that alcohol proton is exchangeable proton what does it mean exchangeable proton means if you add any uh, base type things or deuterium condition so that proton will be moved or with the cdcl3 solvent or like any other deuterated solvent that proton can exchange with the molecule and that proton sometimes show up sometimes doesn't show up that's why these are called exchangeable proton okay so these are the common things for the proton nmr structure and i hope this video and my previous video will help you to understand the multiplicity splitting pattern and the signal types of signal and if you can number the proton differently and based on the environment then you can understand immediately some informations so if i want to wrap up with the summary so remember the different positions structure according to the nmr scale so um, so uh, always any aliphatic region is ab ab around 0 to 1.5 and um, any uh, aromatic any uh, proton next to the uh, oxygen or halogen or uh, any electronegative atom those will show up this area and any double bonded uh, vinylic proton those will show around 5 to 6 or 6.5 this vinylic proton and 7 to 8 7 to uh, 8.5 so uh, 7 to 8.5 will always show aromatic or benzene proton and 9 to 10 always show aldehyde proton this aldehyde proton and above above 10 to 13 or 14 it will show you carboxylic acid proton although sometimes it doesn't show up and these are the very basic common information and also you have to know the structural difference sometimes just you have to be a little tricky to identify or to find the structure so um anytime if you see six proton and doublet so immediately you can think of like okay six proton can be like this i have six proton like this isopropyl group having one proton as a neighbor and like this if you see um, any proton like a uh, septet septet one proton so definitely you can think of okay i have an uh, isopropyl group having six proton as a neighbor but if you see non at uh, and one proton so you can think same way this isopropyl group with additional two more proton and that group so that means this proton has this six 
uh, methyl proton along with these two neighbors so total eight proton as a neighbor so it will show you the non it so i think these are up to the proton nmr so my next video will be carbon nmr and hopefully you enjoyed this video and please if you like this video subscribe my channel and i will make more video and up to the next video stay fine and safe thank you bye now